All right, so the next problem, guys, we want to graph this by using the definition of absolute value. Y equals the absolute value of 3 halves x plus 4 minus 3. And again, the first step is to isolate that absolute value. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. That gives me y plus 3 equals the absolute value of 3 halves x plus 4. Now that the absolute value is isolated, we're going to use the definition of absolute value to write two separate equations. The first one looks just like this without the absolute value signs. y plus 3 equals 3 halves x plus 4. And the second one, just take the opposite of the second side. So it's y plus 3 equals negative 3 halves x minus 4. Now I want to get this in y equals mx plus b form, so subtract 3 from both sides. That's 3 halves x, if I subtract 3 from here, that's plus 1. Take care of this one, subtract 3. That's y equals negative 3 halves x. Subtracting 3 is going to give me minus 7. Now that I have my two linear plane, and graph them each. So y equals 3 halves x of 1. So I go right there. Slope of up 3, right 2. So here I go up 1, 2, 3, right 1, 2. Right there's a second point. I'm going to draw a dashed line those two points. 3 halves x minus, or negative 3 halves x minus 7 has a wire set at negative 7. So I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right there. Slope of negative 3 halves, you typically go down 3, right 2, but that's the same as going up 3, left 2, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, left 1, 2. That gives me another point on that line. Now that I have my two points, I draw a dashed line through those. And now I go and I analyze the original absolute value function. And I look at the number out in front of the absolute value, right here from the get-go. Is it positive or negative? Positive. Since it's positive, I know the absolute value is going to open upward, which means I'm looking at the top part of this. And that is the graph of y equals the absolute value of 3 halves x plus 4 minus 3.